This is Shari from Little Blue Deer Design and today I'm going to show you how to create a really cool uh, shop page WP affiliate widget. And this is a really neat little widget. Um, if you don't have reward style, which is one of the most popular affiliate apps, but it's sometimes hard to get approved for, um, you can actually use this handy dandy little widget that's sort of a DIY kind of widget to put in images of products, um, your product title, and your image will actually go to whatever affiliate link you put in. So it's just a handy and easy way to make a nice little shoppable grid of images that looks neat and uniform and will encourage people hopefully to click on your links and purchase your affiliate products. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is um, go to plugins and you'll go to add new this is how to install a plugin I also have a tutorial on that under search plugins you'll search shop page WP and you will see I already have it installed but if you don't have it installed you'll just click on the install now and follow the steps to install and activate the plugin and once you have your plugin installed, it will show up in your toolbar over here on the left hand side, Shop Page WP. So I've already added some products, but the first step will be to add a new product. So you can go to Add New Product, and the important elements to add will be your title, your affiliate URL, your product description, which is optional, and your custom button text, which is optional. And you're also going to want to add a featured image. This is actually the image that shows up um, on that page. And we'll talk about setting categories if you wanna do that. So once again, add new product to add your new product. Once you've added your product, you're gonna to go to publish, just like you would with a blog post. But for now, we're gonna rely on the products that I've already set up. For this example, we'll use the Pompous Grass product. So I'm gonna go to Edit, and you will see I have already added all of my information. So I've got my product title, which is Pompous Grass. This is where you will paste your affiliate URL. This needs to be the custom URL that's generated in Amazon or whatever affiliate seller you're using. Um, I'm just using a basic Amazon link as an example, but this section is where you'll paste your URL. This is the link, once again, that your product will link to when it is clicked on. Okay, and then we're gonna scroll down. I do not like to add a product description. I like things neat and clean, but you can certainly add a product description here. And also, I am going to show you at the end how to add and hide the uh, buy now product buttons. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. Um, you can see there are no product buttons. This is because I had added uh, one small piece of CSS um, in my customized section. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. I'm gonna publish it, and you'll be able to go back and see that now on this page, when I refresh it, we're gonna see that there are now buy now buttons, okay? So if you want to create custom button text other than buy now, something like shop now, you would add that here, okay? Once again, very important, add your featured image. As you can see, this is my pompous grass. When I go over to my widget, there's my pompous grass in a nice cropped box. Um, the other thing that you can do with Shop Page WP is you can categorize your products. Unfortunately, this plugin uses your blog categories. It does not have its own set of categories. However, that's not really a problem. Um, Say you wanted to add a grid of beauty widgets, you would simply click uh, beauty category. You can add a new category here, or say I'm going to put on one of my beauty posts 
uh, a shoppable grid of beauty products that I'm an affiliate for that I recommend, then maybe I would want to select the beauty category. The categories come into play in the next step where I'm going to show you how to generate your short codes, which allow you to display this products, uh, these product widgets on your pages. Okay, so once you've added title, affiliate URL, optional description, optional custom button text, not optional featured image if you want a featured image, and uh, optional category if you want that, then you would go ahead and go to the publish section. I'm just going to update this. Um, yours will say publish if you're adding a new product, just like a blog post, exact same thing. If it's already added and you've made changes, you will update. If it's something brand new, you will publish. Now, when I go to all products, once I've added my products, I'll see a list of products. So how in the heck does this list get to look like this nice little widget here okay the first thing we're going to do is go to shop page wp settings this is where you can set some universal settings if you want to change your buy now button text to universal text here instead of doing it one by one on each product you can surely make that change here um, i choose the default styles Number of columns, one nice thing about this widget is it sets up your products in easy uh, one, two, three, or four columns. I like three columns. It allows my product uh, images to be a decent size to see, but you could surely do two or four or one. Open link and new tab, I would advise yes. It's always nice when somebody goes to your link and they click. They will go to a new tab and can easily have both windows open. So I like to go to a new link. Uh, I ignore the legacy link format and let that be. Custom image sizes, as you can see, the images are all sized to a really nice grid shape. I set mine to be 250 by 250. You can change the size if you want. Um, this works fine for me. If you change the image size, you will need to follow the step here to regenerate thumbnails. That is simply usually adding a plugin called Regenerate Thumbnails and following the instructions to regenerate your thumbnails. All this does is resize your thumbnail images. Um, so once you've done that, we're going to get to the most important, important part, which is uh, the instructions. If you go to the instructions tab, you will see short codes, okay? So all you have to do is copy the short codes and enter them into your page or post and it will show you, um, it will then display the widget. So your short codes are here. If you just want the basic shop page WP with all of your products, you'll simply command or control C, which is copy, and then you're gonna paste. Now uh, you'll paste into your page or post. Now, if you want your widget to only show products from, say, your beauty category, you will use this short code and you would replace electronics with beauty or whatever your category name is. It must be the exact same name as the category. So be sure to double check on your categories for name and spelling. You'll just paste your category. What if I wanted to do beauty and fashion? Same thing. I would enter comma separated category name. So instead of electronics comma games, note there is no space. I would enter beauty comma fashion. Now, the other thing you can do if you only want to show selected products, if you go back to all products, you will see there is a list of product IDs here. Okay, 40667 is a product ID. So back to the instructions. If I only want to add certain products from certain uh, with certain product IDs, I will use this short code. And all I would do would be to replace the 17, 18, and 19 with the product IDs back from when I went to all products and you'll see them. So you'll simply come up with your short code. You will copy your short code. I'm gonna leave mine the default 
Command or Control C, copy, and now we're going to come over to our page or post. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit my page, which this is my tutorial. There's also a nice tutorial. I'll put this uh, link in the YouTube comments so you can see. All right. Uh, short aside, if you are using Gutenberg, which is the most updated WordPress editor, I still like to use the classic editor, but if you're using Gutenberg, all you have to do is click on the Gutenberg plus sign and you will be able to add the short code. And all you'll do is command or control V for Victor to paste your short code into, um, the Gutenberg short code area. And then when you publish your post, you will see that uh, your widget will appear. If you are not using Gutenberg or you're on a page or you have the classic editor, all you have to do is to command or control V and you'll paste your short code here. This tiny short code, and it could also be one of the short codes that shows product IDs or categories. Uh, you only need one. This is your short code. Now, when we go up to view our page, I didn't make any changes, then you will see that that short code actually renders this little widget. Isn't that fancy? And once again, it could show all of my beauty products and my beauty category. Um, it can show products uh, ID specific using specific IDs. Very easy. All you have to do is paste the short code that you generated back over here on the instructions tab into your post. Last item, I will scroll down. You will see we have the buy now buttons here. You may or may not want the buy now button. Some people think it looks neater without them. I have placed in my tutorial this very easy, handy dandy bit of CSS. This is just code that disables the buy now buttons. So if you want to use this code, you'll simply come to my tutorial. You will once again command or control C to copy. And then what you're going to do is go to your theme customizer. The easiest way to add any kind of uh, CSS code is to go here. You'll want to scroll down. Uh, I use the Divi theme, so my, my section might have a little more, um, I might have a few more options, but all WordPress blogs and websites have this additional CSS under the customizer tab. You'll just want to expand that and then you will command or control V to paste this little block of code in. Then click publish. And now when I exit out of this and I return back to refresh my page, you will see when you go to your widget that there are no buy now buttons, which I personally think looks nicer, but it's totally down to you. So once again, that's all there is to it. That's just an easy tutorial that shows you how to make a page or post of uh, affiliate shopping widgets. And it's really kind of fun and easy. And the thing I like best about it is the nice, neat thumbnails, uh, the cleanliness of it. So hopefully this will help you um, add some affiliate widgets, even if you're not a member of Reward Style and you just want something uh, nice and easy to to work with. So thank you again for watching littlebluedeerdesign.com. Feel free to visit uh, all of my tutorials um, on my website. I have uh, many, many WordPress tutorials and I would love to have you come by and check them out. So thanks so much for watching.